Um, so today we've got our, some of our planting team up on top of the cuts. Um, we're doing some specific type buffer planting. Everyone's got a job to do on Transmission Gully, even the plants. There's some manuka, a couple of different types of caprosma, uh, there's um, lance woods, there's some toy toy, there's some ribbon wood up there, some good hardy native New Zealand shrubs that will aid soil stabilisation where it's been disturbed um, and bring back the native uh, vegetation with, with good diversity. The plants are chosen by ecologists, but how do they help with stabilisation? So it, it is to do with the roots, um, subsurface, holding the ground together. Um, also with the vegetation as it grows and, and builds up, it really slows the velocity of the, of the water. The mix of slowing the velocity of the water down and the roots holding the surface together um, basically stabilises the, the soil. Who knew plants would make it safer to drive on Transmission Gully? Safety is critical for the planting team too. It's a challenging job. The guys have had to put some additional safety methods in place uh, due to the um, gradient of the top of the cut. So we've had to hang off ropes and do it uh, under supervision of um, level three IRADA rope supervisors. This project in particular, the terrain that we're working in is, is quite intense. Um, we don't always have to work on ropes, but there is some pretty challenging terrain in Wellington itself um, and in particular on the Transmission Gully project. So it's certainly tested our guys out. Um, it's probably made them stronger <laughs> physically and mentally. While some vegetation has had to be cleared to build the road, the impact of this is offset by the planting of indigenous trees, so that in a few years the canopy coverage will actually be more than what was lost. Having a look at what might be missing uh, in, the, in the environment now, how can we get the diversity back, um, what's going to be the, the right species in the right environment, so there's, there's a multitude of environments, there's the riparian planting along streams, um, there's the crestal cut planting, um, there's, there's reinstating pasture back to native vegetation, there's several hundred thousand kanuka going in across the project. Around 534 hectares of land surrounding the new motorway is already coming to life, with a variety of new seedlings including long-living giants like Totara, Matai and Rimu. It's expected that the increased habitat will entice wildlife, but not all wildlife is welcome. We have had quite a lot of pest damage across site with, uh, with goats and deer, uh, possums, hare uh, that are being controlled. Um, and you know there has been quite a significant amount of control uh, over the last couple of years. The pests have really slowed down the plant growth in some areas, however we are on top of it and we are seeing some, some really good results. Helicopters are used to carry plants to remote locations. A chopper can deliver 10,000 plants an hour to the hills. It's currently the biggest planting job in the country. Absolutely rewarding. It's, um, such a monumental project to be involved in that um, for starters is, is fantastic um, to give uh, local people employment opportunities and really build their skills and and whatnot uh, is great we've got a, a really good solid local team a team that works in all weather but they look they really enjoy it it's 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 doing an amazing thing for the environment um, you know we're re-establishing the vegetation assisting with erosion sediment control um, getting the diversity back into the, into the natural environment, um, it's great. It's, overall, it's a really, really important thing that we're doing.